bit more. Let's rotate. My name is Megan Hallam and I'm the Director of Technical Operations, Analysis and Performance here at Virgin Galactic. When I joined the company, we walked into an empty hangar. This was all a fresh slate. Two of our manufacturing managers put together a plan to create this flow across the spaceship factory. The assembly tooling in the spaceship factory has been a complete game changer from how we built our previous ships. We've been receiving parts from our partners, primarily metallics and composites, so we've got a lot of sub-assemblies built across the shop. There's a ton of exciting work happening at the spaceship factory right now. When parts come into the factory from our suppliers, we inspect them and prepare them for assembly. This entails moving the parts onto its sub-assembly tool, where we'll build that individual part using its designated assembly kit. This assembly kit includes all relevant fixtures and fittings. Once the part is assembled on its sub-assembly tool, we're then ready to move it into its relevant final assembly tool. Over the past few weeks and months, we've been receiving parts for our wing and fuselage, and have followed this assembly process for every single part that comes in. My name is Matt Nichols. I am the build manager for the Delta Spaceship Program for Virgin Galactic. We are doing sub-assembly components in our fuselage in one bay. We have our aft pressure bulkhead and we have our forward pressure bulkhead that are a part of that fuselage assembly. We have another bay where we're building the sub-assembly components for the wing. We have our aft spar sub-assembly. We have our forward spar sub-assembly, left hand and right hand leading edge shear web sub-assemblies. Those get built on their own tools, and, and we try to integrate as many components as we can. Jacob Rosencrantz, Manufacturing Engineering Manager here at Virgin Galactic, and I've been here for 12 and a half years. We made a good investment early on, splitting up our tooling so that we're able to do a lot more work at the same time. We're also able to bring work in sooner because we know where it's gonna be. We can run lines, we can run avionics, we can put bracketry and everything on there uh, much sooner and then we have the flexibility to get it out of there and move it to the next station, whereas before we had one station that was clogging up all of those things and we weren't able to move forward. The layup tooling, the trim tooling, the assembly tooling, the final assembly tooling, all of that has those same features in it. So that's why we can take one tool from one supplier and we can plug a part into different ones. And we've done that over and over again. It's a game changer. For the Delta program, we invested heavily up front in precision assembly tooling, and this investment has led to a higher quality build. It's safer for the technicians putting things together from an ergonomic standpoint and allowing the technicians to go right into the build with those determinate features, something we call determinate assembly. Determinate assembly is where the design and the engineering of flight parts or components integrates features into it that allows us to index easily into assembly tools, which then allow us to put other subcomponents onto that flight part quickly, efficiently. It creates a real efficient, smooth build. Flexibility is a foundational component. Determinant assembly allows us to be flexible and still make progress on the build. The parts come into the spaceship factory and they fit right into our assembly tools and it allows us to build multiple spaceships at once with a lot of flexibility. All right, I'm in. We've been very ergonomic, we've been very safe, we've been very efficient in the thought of how we built these together. Everything is clamped and pinned in place. We have safety features all over. It's really important to be safe with this. With our wing up tool, we're able to work both the top and bottom forward and aft of the wing assembly all at one time. And that's been a really cool step towards the future in the Delta spaceship assembly. We are utilizing and taking advantage of a digital thread across our facilities, partnering with Dassault Systems with our 3D Experience platform. It starts with Inovia, which is coming from our Orange County headquartered engineers. They are designing, modeling, creating the ship from scratch, establishing the engineering definition of what is required to build this ship. Our manufacturing engineers then take it from there and build a manufacturing definition. Next up will be the process plans. What fasteners are required at the sub-assembly stage uh, prior to the major assembly? So that's what we call assembly level. The technicians are absorbing all this information. They are taking together all of the work instructions and they're assembling as required. It's very much streamlined through all the digital processes in 3DX. Now we know exactly where every part's gonna go. 
12 and a half years of building spaceships, seeing something that you've built go to space multiple times over and over again. I'm really proud of those things, but I think really just maturing this spaceship program is something I really take pride in. This spaceship is, is radical. It's just super rewarding. It's super challenging. It's gonna be probably the highlight of my professional career, I would imagine. This is how we build sub-assemblies. This is how we build spaceships.